Girl, this is all drugstore, baby. This is all drugstore. The face is giving. The face is giving smooth. The face is giving less texture. Hi, and who? Hi, and where? What up, Ibby Inspired Fam Bam? Hope y'all are doing well. So if you guys can't already tell, ooh, bars. As you guys can tell by today's title, today we are going to be doing a tutorial that a lot of you guys have been waiting for for a very, very long time. We're gonna be doing a drugstore makeup tutorial for pitted acne scarred skin. And as you can see, the scars. They have they have vanished. They are in blended in. They are you can't see them. Obviously, I am too excited about this makeup look. To be honest with you guys, because I use a lot of high end products, I didn't expect my makeup look to come out this well. But I have proven that you can get a good, nice, flawless finish with drugstore makeup products. So before we get started, fam bam, you already know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe to the Ibby Inspired Fam Bam to become a part of our crew. But also, drum roll. I have created another YouTube channel called Ibby Inspired TV where I will be doing my vlogs, try on hauls, get ready with me, things like that. So don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to Ibby Inspired TV. All right, fam bam, are you all subscribed? Yes? Now that you are all subscribed, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Let's get to the money, let's get to the money, let's get to the money, let's get to the money. Y'all, I am so excited. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to see? No. <laughs> Are you guys ready to see this drugstore makeup tutorial for pitted acne scarred skin? I know I'm excited. I know you guys have been waiting a long time. As you guys always know, if you have been here, you know my eyebrows are already done. Today, we have actually used drugstore makeup products to get my eyebrows nice and crisp and juicy and on fleek. So let me actually show you guys the products that I used. So today, we actually used the Revlon Color Stay Eye Pencil. This is a dual pencil. As you can see, I am in the shade Soft Black Noir. This is in 225, and there is a pencil on one end, and then on the other end, we have a brush. So that is what I did to fill in my eyebrows. And to clean up my eyebrows, this right here, y'all, a really, really good product. I feel like it was popular at one time, and then everybody kind of forgot about it. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer. I am in the shade Fawn. I usually use this shade during the winter time because it's a little bit more yellow than I would like, but the consistency, the coverage is really, really great. So this is what the product looks like. I will be leaving a link down below for all of these makeup products. Most of these makeup products I did get from CVS or Target, but you can get them from other places, even the makeup's website as well. Sometimes you can even get a cheaper on the makeup's website but yeah I'll go ahead and leave a link for every single thing today so two things don't be mad at me <laughs> two things that is not going to be from the drug store that we're using in today's tutorial are these two skincare products and I thought that it was personally okay because these products are actually very, very affordable. These products are actually cheaper than a lot of other skincare products at the drugstore. So today, for our for prepping our skin, we're gonna be using the hyaluronic acid from the Inky List. And I think this retails for about maybe $8 or so. Same price point as Ordinary, if you guys know that skincare brand. And then we have our Omega Water Cream from the Inkey List as well. So 
both of these products i believe not one of them even goes over ten dollars but again leaving a link down below so you guys can see where i got this so i like to just take drips of the hyaluronic acid and i just rub it all over my face and then i like to pat this into my acne scars as well so first things first as i always mention to you guys a primer is super duper ooper important for us with pitted acne scarred skin i know sometimes people are like well do i really need a primer i don't believe in primers uh, uh. yes you need a primer you need a primer us with pitted acne scarred skin you need a primer a lot of those people that don't believe in primers they don't have pitted acne scarred skin a primer is going to set the tone for your face it really is especially us with acne scarred skin so today i chose the nyx professional makeup shine killer this is the primer base so we're gonna go ahead put this on our face and it feels really good it feels very velvety and as i always mention to you all make sure that when you're putting on primer you can rub your skin the way i did but as you guys saw i rubbed my skin in the areas that did not have any acne scars i pat in the areas that i do have my acne scars so you all shine killers are super duper super important for us with pitted acne scarred skin because once your face starts to oil up starts to shine light reflects on your skin and that causes you to look like you have more acne scars so what i like to do is once i put on my primer i like to give it a few minutes so that the primer can soak into my skin and really work i find that when i put on primer and i put on makeup right away sometimes the primer mixes in with the makeup and the primer is not really doing its job so i let my primer just sit back for a second for about a minute or two and really let it do its job so after that is done we are going to use our la pro conceal this is actually not the concealer this is the color corrector and i am in reddish so these la pro conceals are really really good because they are very affordable i think i got these la I, it's been a while but i got these la pro conceals for about 2.99 at the drugstore they are very very pigmented products and it will last you a very long time so i love these things i know that someone asked me if it is necessary to use these color correctors and no i wouldn't say it's necessary to use these color correctors when you have acne scarred skin what i will say is that it does help me personally tremendously and that's because when I put on these reddish correctors there's not as many shadow on my face so when I have my deep acne scar and I put on my foundation directly you can see the dark marks in my acne scars my acne scars tend to show through my makeup and so you can see it more as with the reddish corrector it's canceling out my hyperpigmentation so you're not noticing my acne scars as much so as you all know my acne scars really do show on my cheeks I really don't have acne scars anywhere else except for my cheeks and a little bit on my forehead but they really show on my cheeks so that's where my area of focus is is focus this is I'm just gonna take a big blending brush and I'm just gonna tap on and blend out this reddish corrector so I want to blend it out so that it looks almost translucent and when I say translucent I'm gonna show you what I mean I'm blending it out to the point that you can still see a little bit of acne scar but that's okay because we have our other products that we're going to use 
but a majority of my hyperpigmentation has disappeared because of this reddish corrector and I want to blend it out as if it were translucent because if I don't then the reddish corrector is going to show through my foundation and then my foundation is going to look a little reddish and I don't want that so we're just gonna keep blending this out and then the excessive reddish corrector i put in areas that i have a little bit of hyperpigmentation in my case it's a little bit around my chin i break out on my chin sometimes the prepping the priming and the reddish corrector has really set a very good base for our face so these are like really big you guys before you actually put on your makeup products before you put color back into your face make sure I'm gonna stop here because it is so important make sure you have a good primer make sure you have a good serum and make sure you have a good moisturizer and in our case because we are using a reddish corrector make sure you have a good reddish corrector for lighter skin tones um, you can use a green corrector or a blue corrector those correctors also cancel out your hyperpigmentation for darker skin tones such as myself you can use an orange corrector or a reddish corrector just an fyi all right so next thing I always mention this foundation even in my high-end makeup product tutorials um, this this foundation always finds its way in my tutorials this is the fit me Maybelline matte and poreless foundation from Maybelline this is what the product looks like I am in deep golden I love 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 this stuff I'm telling you I wear this to weddings if you want to be beefing at that wedding you should have been beefing at that wedding I wear this to go hiking I wear this to work out yes I wear makeup to work out what you gonna do about it and I just uh, I love this foundation full coverage as I mentioned, it's matte, and as I mentioned, it's poreless. Matte and poreless, y'all. Those are two things that us with pitted acne scarred skin need. We need matte and we need poreless. I take my brush and I just dab everything on. You can find really good brushes at Amazon. I use like this round top brush. You can also use a flat top brush if you really wanted to and it'll work just as well um, but it's all about the technique and how you're doing it so I just take my brush once again and I pat my foundation in my face as you can see the technique that I'm using is a patting you don't want to rub fill in these holes on my cheeks so let me show y'all y'all know I like to get up close and personal with you you know that but this is as you can see I have my holes in these in my face I have holes in my face I'm patting in this foundation you you can still see some scarring but you know we're not done yet but this foundation definitely helps give you a good baseline to getting your acne scars filled my skin is starting to look smoother already the acne scars are less noticeable and we're loving it so I wanted to get close again so you guys can see my skin so as I mentioned let's be realistic you can still see acne scars but as you can see they look smoother they look more flatter it reduces the look of different textures on my face and it's covering my hyperpigmentation as well 
And a lot of times with acne scars, the reason why they're so noticeable is because you can see that shadow in your acne scar. So that's why I say a color corrector and a good full coverage foundation is going to be your best friend. So this, can you tell her anything? You really can't, but this is what your skin looks like. As you can see, I still have reddish corrector under my eyes. We're gonna get that covered. So the same concealer that we used for our eyebrows, we are using under our eyes. So again, we're using the Pro Conceal HD High Definition in Fawn. And with this stuff, you got to be careful. Please be careful. Please be careful. If you use too much, you're gonna look crazy. So don't use too much. Very lightly. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Back to our regular schedule. So please be careful when you're using this. And I don't use a lot. Do you see all of that pigment? already that is a lot of pigment and i go whoop 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 just like that and another one whoop 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 we don't go right under the eye because we don't want a cakey look but yeah so very lightly i put it under my eye this concealer is going to take me down to my cheeks where my pitted acne scar is and it's going to take me right under my eye and that's where we're going to cover our um color corrector this beauty blender this might look familiar to some of you guys we're gonna double we're gonna dual use but we're gonna use this um sponge for two ways so this you can actually get this sponge from the drug storage i actually ripped it in half and I'm gonna show you guys why some of you guys already know based off my off of my last tutorials but we're gonna use the outside first of this sponge and we're going to blend our face I love this blender because it is very precise this angle gives a nice precise edge so that when you are blending under your eye and around your face you can blend really specifically so that you can cover those acne scars i'm gonna go ahead and blend and as you can see i'm blending upward so our face can be snatched snatched for the gods so one thing that helps my face look snatched is the way that I applied this concealer. I applied it like this, so that way when we're blending, we can just follow that trail and blend up as well. I'm blending with a dry sponge. A wet sponge is nice to use, but I find that if you get a, the right beauty blender, really nice and soft, you don't really need to wet your sponge. We are all blended out. Girl, this is when you can't tell me nothing. This is when I start to act up because this is when the acne scars become less noticeable. As you can see, I did a really, really nice blend with a nice full coverage concealer and foundation and the acne scars have reduced significantly so because we trying to save us some coins like i mentioned we're going to use this beauty blender for two reasons so the first reason was the concealer and the second reason will be for the powder so as you can see i put some powder on there because i was using this earlier today but as you can see there is texture there is texture in this sponge 
this right here if you got this far for one if you got this far go ahead and comment i got this far because this is like the key to your face you guys know i love my primers but you guys also know that i love my powders primers and powders two big things for acne scarred skin so we're going to use this sponge this textured sponge and we're going to put powder on this part of our sponge all i did was i took this elf sponge and i ripped it in half and yes you're going to be spending money to rip a sponge in half i know listen to me when i say this is like the best trick ever these texture parts in your sponge is going to fill in the holes in your face so i'm trying to show you guys as much as i can but do you see that that kind of looks like acne scars so it's almost doing the opposite It's almost like a lock and key if you think about it it's like i have holes in my face and you have bumps on yours so fill those bumps with the holes in my face so this is the bump and it's the hole and the bump is going in the hole i don't know if that sounded right this channel is tvpg so take it how you want it so today for our setting powder we're using our true complexion loose setting powder from black radiance so this is what the powder looks like so this is just banana that's the shade it's in banana and it's a little yellowish we're taking that part of our sponge and we are patting just like this make sure that the sponge covers the powder really good make sure you get a nice coat but don't pack it on that it is too cakey and if it is scrape it off a little bit and then this is when you start patting so start patting fill those holes in your face fill them fill it fill it in fill it in as I say, say it with me y'all, fill it in. So again, I'm just patting in. So I love powder and I use a lot of powder to fill those holes in my face. So obviously we need to put color back into our face. This is another staple of mine that I always mention to the fam bam. This is the black opal true color. This is a foundation stick. Y'all know that I use this as a sculpting cream or a contour uh, color. So I'm going to take this foundation stick and I'm going to put the color back into our face just like this. See the colors going back. And for those of us with pitted acne scars along this area, be very, very careful. You don't want too much shadow in your pitted acne scars because your pitted acne scars are going to come back. So if you have pitted acne scars around this area, use your bronzer or your contour stick very, very lightly. For those of you who just don't want to use a bronzer or contour stick because you are afraid of that shadow in that area, I'm going to show you what you can do in just a moment. But in my case, I have my acne scars right in the front of my cheeks as opposed to the sides. So I can get away with this. Okay, so contour is on my face as i mentioned for those of you who don't want to put bronzer or contour around the cheeks around the forehead around the chin wherever your acne pitted acne scars are take a powder so i'm taking the black radiance pressed powder this is what the packaging looks like and i am in the shade black coffee so i'm going to take a nice big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna fluff I'm getting warmth in my face again so if you just want to add warmth all over your face you can just like this and I normally don't like to put it 
right under my eye because I like to keep a nice I like to keep a nice highlighted under eye and so I really do like this overall powder and I really do like this black radiance powder because it is matte it has no shimmer in it it's just nice matte there's no tricks there's no gimmicks that's what we need when we have acne scarred skin it does remind me of my mac um, studio fix powder plus foundation that i'm always using so this is nice and then the packaging also has like a little mirror in it which is nice i love packages with mirrors girl this is all drugstore baby this is all drugstore the face is giving the face is giving smooth the face is giving less texture. Hi, and who? Hi, and where? This is what my face looks like right now. I don't even have shadow on, like eyeshadow on, and my face already looks bomb. So it is time for the blush. Now, here's a disclaimer. I went to the drugstore, and a lot of drugstore blushes did have some kind of shimmer shine and creaminess to it one thing that we're trying to avoid is the creaminess and the shininess we don't want that for pitted acne scarred skin so i am deciding to get a little creative and trust me this works because i do this all the time so i picked up the nyx ultimate shadow palette and as you can see it is a very highly pigmented and um, very multicolored palette. What we're going to do today is we're going to use this peach color right here on this palette. But if you guys notice, all of these shadows are very, very matte, and that's obviously what we want for our blush. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and use this nice peach color here. I'm going to take this brush right here and it's a nice thin tapered brush and i use this tapered brush because i want to focus on that peach color i mean we can like dip and dab a little bit with the other colors but i'm going to take that and i'm going to apply it right here on top of my cheekbones ah look how pretty that is i'm gonna put a little bit on my nose as well kind of warm up my face a little bit on my forehead and my chin as well so what I'm going to do is go off camera put on my lips put on my eyes and I will be right back So you all, I am back and this is our final look using drugstore makeup products for pitted acne scarred skin. Let me know what you guys think. So to top everything off, I use the e.l.f. Lip Core. This is in Wild Rose. I did do a light brown liner that I found in like my makeup collection and then I threw on some lashes that I found in my makeup collection as well. Y'all, to be honest with you, I'm not even going to lie, I could not find the right shape eyelashes when it came to drugstore eyelashes. So I have some old eyelashes that I just threw on my eyes. You can do the same. So I hope you guys really do like this look. As you guys can see, my acne scars are well, well reduced once again. Also let me know if you guys picked up the same products at your drugstore and how your makeup look came out y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the ibby inspired fam bam and don't forget to subscribe to ibby inspired tv to see more lifestyle from me i will see you guys in my next video bye